Welcome to other CATIA V5 video. We're gonna see pre-selecting and selecting using the mouse pointer. So I have the case study part over here. If I will move my mouse cursor, for example, over here, we're gonna see on the left side of the screen that face, pad one, part body will be selected. And we're also gonna see over here within the tree that pad one will be selected in this case. Now, for pre-selecting CATIA, for example, if I will go over here on the second pad, which we see is the cylinder position of the hexagon, we're going to see that this will be pad number two. Now, in order to change various pre-selections, for example, if I will do a rectangle selection, this will select this, and as you can see, we have four elements selected. And there will be only four elements selected because three out of those will be planes. And afterwards, we're going to have the pocket, which in this case is the last feature position on top of pad one, two, and three. Therefore, this will all be considered as pocket one. If I will activate the pattern over here, so with this part, I define um, a pattern. I will now define this in the work object that will activate the pattern. And now if I will zoom out, I will hide part body too for now. And if I will do a selection now, we're going to see that still we're going to have four elements selected. We have the three planes. And now we're no longer going to have the pocket selected. We're going to have the rectangle. We can also change the selection. So if you haven't seen this, I had recommended to check my last um, video where I discussed um, intersecting rectangle selection, polygon selection, freehand, and also outside uh, intersecting and outside uh, rectangle selection. Now, if I will also make visible part body two, where we have a padded rectangle and a padded circle. Now, if I will do a rectangle selection, we're gonna see that in this case, we're gonna have five elements selected. We have the three default planes will be selected and also from part body one we're gonna have the rectangle pattern one and from part body two we're gonna have the pad five so for each part body you will only have pre-selected the last feature that defines the part now i will hide this for now so part body two i will also go to pocket one and right click and define this in work object. That means that CATIA will only have those pads created and the pocket. And I will zoom in closer to this. To display other settings regarding press selection in CATIA v5, we can go up to tools, afterwards options. And over here within the general tab, we're gonna go for display and navigation. As we can see, we have over here by default, so these are the default settings, we have the check for pre-selecting geometry. This pre-selecting geometry view is not actually, let's say, the feature that allows us to click on individual faces, and those will be selected, in this case, pre-selected. As you can see, if I will move my mouse over this uh, face, we're going to see that this face belonging to pad one will be pre-selected. If I will click on that and I will move my mouse, we're going to see that now this will be selected since I clicked on that. Okay, so we have the pre-selection and the selection. Now, within the options, we have this check, so pre-select in geometry view. Let's take a look at what exactly is um, also pre-selection navigator. Now, with the, only the first check enabled, if I will go over here, I will click, for example, on pad 2, and I will click on the arrow keys, we're going to have this navigator popping out. So we have two options in this case, we can select the face for pad uh, 2 or the face for pad 1. As you can see, if I will move my mouse, I can do that selection. You can also press the up and down key, that will also toggle between those. And uh, when you want to make a selection, you can press the enter key. For example, in this case, I will uh, select face pad one port body. And we're going to see how that 
bottom face will be selected in this case, even though I started over here, so with that pre-selection navigator. If I'm gonna press the arrow to the left, in this case we're gonna see that this won't do anything. So we have this selection, and if I will press it once over here, we're gonna see that some edges over there will be also selected. So the difference between um, the first selection and the, the second one. But in order to enable that, you can go over here within options, and we can make the pre-selection navigator appear automatically, so you no longer have to click on those arrow keys. For example, if I will type in over here, pre-selection navigator uh, should appear after half a second. If I will create, select the top, we're gonna see that I don't even have to click, I just need to move my, my mouse on top of that, and we're gonna have that those selections. So in this case, we can select either the face in the back or that pocket over here. We can also enable highlight faces. So let's take a look at the highlight faces. In some cases, this is really useful. For example, I will select this and now with that um, highlight face selected, we're going to have this orange selection which will, um, let's say, better visualize the selected surface. Because by default, we don't have the highlighted faces and edges. And if I want to select this, I need to hold down control. And those three will so will be the same selection as previously, but it's a little bit harder to, to see that. Also, I usually don't use the pre-selection navigator. So I will put this to two seconds and I will have that disabled. What we also have over here, we have the possibility. Let me just enable this and uh, let me show for this pocket over here. So if I will click, click on the pocket afterwards, I will press the up key and we're going to see various options over here. So we can select the background as we can see over there. This will be the pocket, this will be the background, and afterwards if I will press enter, I will have that selection, but I will also enable the highlighter. So keep in mind that with the pre-selection, you can also do that directly onto the, the feature, for example, like this for the whole pocket, I can select it over here. Or for the whole uh, pad tree, which will be this one. We see that the selection for pad 3 will also take um, the selection from pad 1 in this case. But if I'm gonna go on the geometry and I will left click, I will see how if I will tap all the way to the left arrow and now I will press enter, this will select everything when I press enter. But if I will just select this, afterwards just press uh, three times on the left arrow key, afterwards enter, we only gonna have this uh, selection set over here, so we don't have those um, those following pads. But if I will select this again and press multiple times, so I can go for the whole selection or I can go over here and I can specify if I want various um, edges or faces selected or not. We can also enable this um, bounding box. So I will disable the pre-selection navigator because usually I prefer to do my selection um, within the 3D viewport manually without having that um, navigator. And I will also enable the manipulation bounding box. Now, if I will select pad one, you're gonna see that since this has that uh, hexagon profile, we're going to have the following bounding box, which will um, incorporate that. Now if I will select pad 2, since pad 2 was built on top of pad 1, this will also be added to that bounding box. So the bounding box will be as large as the, um, let's say, the um, extremities of the largest component, even though I selected only pad 2 over here, we're gonna have the bounding box which will also incorporate pad 1. 
and the same will be for um, for example for the pocket even though we have the geometry over there cut since this is a bounding box this will um, will not be different from the pad 3 bounding box or the pocket 1 bounding box where we have that material cut out within the interior if I will reactivate the rectangle pattern we're gonna see how that bounding box will incorporate all of those elements and it will be the same if I will enable uh, part body 2 and I will select everything we're gonna have the bounding box of the part body 1 which is the same with rectangular patterns since this is the activated uh, last feature over here with defining work object and for body number 2 we're gonna have the bounding box of the second pad combined with the first one since um, this was created after the first pad so keep that in mind when you are dealing with uh, with bounding boxes okay so this was the video regarding um, press selecting and selecting using the, the pointer in Katia v5 I will position a similar video over here to the left a playlist with tips and tricks for Katia v5 at the top and a subscribe button to the right so, see you in the next video.